I'm Ray. And I'm Jason. And this tutorial is brought to you by Grand Design. In this video, we'll be going over how to use your Nautilus system. <laughs> Let's dive right in. We have a 2018 Grand Design Solitude, which has the Nautilus P1 system in it. If you've started to familiarize yourself with your own system, then you've probably noticed this warning. Never depress check valve on city water connection with pressure in the line. If you've followed us for a while, then you know that we're big on admitting mistakes. So we have to admit that we misunderstood this warning for the good portion of a year. We thought it meant to disconnect our hose before disconnecting from the Nautilus system. Anytime we wanted to change any of the Nautilus settings, we would disconnect our hose from the source to make sure that there was no pressure on the lines. That is not what that warning means. To fully understand what this warning means, you have to have the basic understandings of how the water system works in your RV. A check valve is a valve that basically only allows water to flow one way. So there is a check valve right behind your city connection that allows water to flow in, but doesn't allow water to flow out. This is a good thing because when your lines are pressurized with your water pump, you don't want water coming out of your city connection. So now that we have an understanding of what the check valve is, all this warning is telling you is to not push your check valve down when there's pressure in the line because the back flow could break the check valve. If you damage your check valve, then you could find that this city water connection leaks when your water pump is on and it's trying to pressurize all of the lines. In reality, the only time you'd really ever be taking off that screen in your city water connection and depressing the check valve is when you're winterizing. Let us know in the comments if you still have any questions about this warning and we'll get back to you. But now let's move on to the rest of the system. We've included a link to the manual in the description below if you want to follow along. Firstly, we wanted to show that this system has a hot and cold shower as well as aux and cable and satellite connections available. All right, let's move Move on to the different functions of the system. To fill your onboard fresh water tank with city water, turn your handles to match the power fill tank diagram. Then connect your hose to the inlet labeled city water connection. Turn on your city water connection and fill your tank until the desired level. Disconnect the hose at the source before disconnecting from the Nautilus panel. To fill your fresh water tank from a container or with sanitizing solution, turn your handles to match the sanitized diagram. Then connect your hose to the inlet labeled city water connection. Place the other end in the holding water or sanitizing solution and turn the pump on. The pump should start running and the tank will begin to fill. When the tank is at your desired level, turn the pump off and disconnect the hose from the Nautilus panel. To now use the water in your freshwater tank with your water pump, simply turn the handles to match the diagram dry camping. Turn the pump on and water should be available to all fixtures. Remember to turn your pump off when not in use. To use the system directly from a city water source, turn the handles to match the city water diagram. Then connect your hose to the inlet labeled city water connection. Turn on the water at the source. To winterize your RV, turn the handles to match the winterize diagram and follow the instructions in your manual. We're not gonna walk you through how to winterize in this video, but we've included a link in the description below. The last function of the Nautilus panel is the black tank flush. It doesn't matter which direction the handles are facing for this procedure. To use the tank flush, first ensure you are hooked up to a dump outlet and open your black tank valve. Allow the tank to drain and then attach your black water hose to the inlet labeled tank flush. Turn on the water at the source and allow the water to flush until it runs clear in your sewer connection. We recommend getting a clear elbow that attaches to the sewer outlet so you can see the water flow. Disconnect the hose at the source before disconnecting from the Nautilus panel. Don't forget to close your black tank valve and that's how you use your Nautilus system. So before we go, we wanted to let you know that Grand Design has given us a $50 gift card to give away to one of our viewers to their swag store, AKA branded merchandise. To win this gift card, all you have to do is leave us a comment down below and let us know what future tutorials you wanna see from us. We would love to make videos that you want and need. After a couple days of the release of this video, we'll go ahead and pick a winner and we'll get in touch 
touch with you on how we can connect and give you your gift card. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out gdrvforlife.com for other useful RV tips and tricks. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Valve down when there's pressure in the line because you could damage the valve. In this video, we'll be going over how to use your Nautilus system. I'm Jason. And <laughs> there is a lot of cars here. Yeah. We're not going to walk you through how to want wanderize. <laughs> to now use your fresh water, to now use the water in your fresh water tank with your pump, turn the to now use the water in your fresh water tank with the pump, turn the knobs <sighs> or with sanitizing solution, turn your to fill your freshwater tank with, to fill your freshwater tank from a, to fill your freshwater tank with water from a water, 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 water. <laughs>